Okay, I'll do another quick video. Uh, this one here will be on entrances. Uh, you'll notice that the ice entrances are iced up. Uh, typically, if I just do singles, it's fine. Uh, but the other issue on these colonies is the plastic. Uh, plastic conducts heat pretty good. So I'm going to cover a bit of uh, the topic of thermal bridging or and then uh, thermal mass. So one is specific heat. It's how much the material can hold heat. So we've got honey in there that holds a lot of heat. And I'll, I'll show you how, I guess typically what I do is, especially early in the spring, as the new frames start getting uh, drawn out, I make sure that the outside frames are honey and then I start piling in honey on the sides and I'll start with the bottom box and move my way up. Uh, and that way there, by the time it gets to July, late July, they're pretty much already set up for winter. So honey is a good absorber of heat and it can hold it and then release it uh, when it's required. Uh, but I'll just zoom in a bit. But you'll see these plastic things, plastic like this versus the polystyrene. Same with the paradise boxes, the plastic versus the polystyrene. So that plastic conducts heat. I, I'll show you the chart, but uh, much more than the polystyrene. And then I'll just zoom into the bottom of this. Okay, so you can see how the colonies are alive. It's more hoarfrost than anything, so it's not frozen over. Uh, the screen bottom board's a bit open, so there is fresh air going in there. Uh, but that yellow plastic and the yellow plastic in here, uh, pretty much the challenge is it conducts heat so well that uh, pretty much freezes the entrance. So any moisture going out, uh, the, any moisture will freeze onto that plastic. Uh, and then it starts forming ice. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, sorry, I'm actually gonna use my snips and some pliers and I'm gonna cut that plastic out to open up that entrance even more. Uh, so there's plenty of air space. So this colony here, uh, oxygen is currently at 18%. So it's about 4% uh, CO2. I think it was yesterday or the day before I came with the uh, hive tool and I broke uh, the hoarfrost because uh, this is in the 5% range. Uh, bees are quiet, they're fine, uh, but I'm going to be leaving for another month in January. So I just want to make sure my setup is uh, frost proof. Uh, so I'm going to clean that entrance up. So I'm going to make it wider, bigger, uh, and get see if I can cut all that plastic out. Typically, I do take it out in the fall, uh, but this year, again, uh, I just piled everything together. Uh, I forgot to take it off, and then winter was here, and it was too late to take it off. So what I want to do is pull all that off. Uh, so that, and then I'll probably roll up that uh, bubble foil wrap a bit more so it doesn't... Uh, drip any moisture into the entrance so again one's heat conductivity so thermal resistance uh, and i'll show you a chart there you'll see that uh, polystyrene and styrofoam xps has a really really low number meaning it doesn't conduct heat very well so it's a good insulator and then things like aluminum copper have extreme extremely high conductance conductance and then wood is in the middle, uh, hard plastic is actually quite high, so it uh, conducts heat more than wood. So you can see how these plastic, uh, I, I won't say it's the Achilles heel of polystyrene hives, but it is an annoyance. Uh, you'd think they'd not have that because uh, it is a detriment, so especially in cold climates. And cold climates being my climate. So right now it's about minus 15 and it's the high. Uh, but it was minus 25 last night. Uh, we've dropped minus 36, 37 a couple nights ago. 
uh, where for three days our high was in the minus 30s. So uh, that is what extreme cold is, because uh, right now it's it's uh, it's average. Okay, so I completely broke it off. It was annoying. Uh, bees are fanning right now, uh, which is fine. They're cleaning out the air. But what I'll do is I'll I'll put in some styrofoam on either side just to prevent too much airflow. Uh, but they'll quiet down fairly quick. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. There's a lot fewer bees, so you can see they're actually not really clustered. Uh, so this is a deep and a half. So the bees will be more happy now with uh, more space. So anyways, that's a wintering hive. And beekeeper error and basically me being too busy, not spending enough time on my bees. So anyways, uh, something not to do is make sure you give them proper bottom entrances when they are wintering with just a bottom entrance only. And plastic is bad, hard plastic is bad. And metal mouse guards are even worse. Okay, here's the new entrance. I stuck some styrofoam on either side. So styrofoam, like I said, has a low conductivity. So it, uh, it's a good insulator. So it won't, the moisture and hoarfrost won't stick to it. And what I'll do, I'll monitor this. And if it's too big, I might make it a bit smaller, but uh, it's about six inches wide right now. So it's all good. Okay, I'm in my other bee yard right now. Uh, you can see these type of entrance uh, reducers. They do have vent holes on the outside edges, uh, right there. So there is hoarfrost in the middle there, but uh, these colonies typically never have gas issues. So you can see the center one. These are the lysin types. And then over here you can see this is the hive IQ. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that out and I'm gonna open it fully. I'm gonna take this plastic, flip it down, uh, just to, to have it maximized. You can see how I pull down the my mouse guard. Why? Because the bees were getting stuck to it. Uh, so that's another example of, uh, whatchamacallit, of, very high heat conductivity so basically it conducts heat really quick uh, so bees touch it and they instantly freeze and they can't get through it hence the reason i don't like metal uh, mouse guards uh, but anyways the, the all three are alive uh, not much noise going on but uh, i'm just going to clean that up really quick uh, just do a reset and then we'll go from there and I'll probably take uh, a bit of IR thermography type of pictures uh, just to see what the uh, heat loss looks like right now.